The Monday Morning Marketing Podcast is brought to you by Esther of IPA Group, bringing premier online promotion to your business. And Melanie of Stump Social Media Training, who empowers business owners to manage social media and marketing for themselves. Hi, guys. Welcome to today's episode of the Monday Morning Marketing Podcast. Uh, today, we're joined by Aaron Ocampo of IPA Group, and we're talking about the new Google Analytics platform, GA4. Welcome, Aaron. Hello, guys. How are you? We're good. So we believe G- we know you somewhat. Let's let's get some <laughs> context here, shall we, boys and girls? Uh, how do we know you, Aaron? I've never met him before uh, in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the husband of one of the hosts. Mine. <laughs> no, <laughs> you wished. <laughs> No, you're quite right. Um, you are the husband of our esteemed website developer, designer, and Google Analytics pro, Esther Ocampo. Um, and you're you're the lesser half. Sorry, the better half of her, of course. <laughs> of course. And, and the editor of Monday Morning Marketing Podcast. <laughs> let's not forget yeah. that he does yeah, that. Yeah, let's not forget that, that no. <laughs> So, yeah, but you're here because you apparently know about Google Analytics 4. Uh, apparently. Uh, somewhat. <laughs> yeah. So tell us, because um, I'm taking over now, um, tell us, why should we know about Google Analytics 4 now and when does it all change? Well, Google Anal- Analytics 4 is a new version of Universal Analytics from Google. All of us, if you have a website, you should have some sort of analytics, and normally it's Google Analytics. So the previous version was Universal Analytics, as they called it, and then they're moving away from that and then towards this new version of it, which is GA4 or Google Analytics 4. And, well, the main reason to know about this is because it's going to be the actual analytics that we're going to use from, I mean, in years, <clears throat> in the future. And they, uh, they are deprecating the previous version. So it's important if you have a website to change to the new version, you, you have a whole year, but, you know, time flies. And if you don't do it, you know, soon, you probably you are going to rush yourself uh, uh, later. Or so forget that, about it. That's the main thing. Oh, forget or forget about it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's the main thing. Okay, so are there any advantages apart from not forgetting about doing it, for doing it now, for making the change now, um, with a whole year-ish to go? I, I would say a couple of them. The first one would be, you know, getting used to the the new version as while the, while the other is in place uh, still. Because, you know, that way you could get both both results and both, you know, um, reports and you could, you know, compare them and see if you're getting the same metrics or not. That would be one of the main things. And the other one is that you will have a whole year of, you know, support and, you know, that um, help from Google and all that, which, <clears throat> I mean, because you're still using the previous one. so. I would say those those main things would be um, would be it. Yeah. So it was called Universal Analytics. Did it? Um, I mean, it's still there now, but does it give you more information now than it will do in um, July next year? Is that why it's been called just Google Analytics rather than useful Universal? Useful. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure about the reason of the name, the change of the name. I would say it's more related of how they're doing things because Universal Analytics before was kind of a you know trying to um try trying to uh, uh, group everything in one place. Mm. With this new version, you will have cer- uh, certain certain parts of it to target different parts of your business. So a business is not only a website. Uh, you can have an app, you can have, you know, course, yeah. different channels, they call it, they, mm-hmm. they call them different channels that you can track. So all of those things are now in Google Analytics. <clears throat> and you can use different different IDs or different codes to track those things. 
So I would say could, that could be the the reason for the the, the, the change. Uh, but in general, I would say uh, this it served the same it serves the same purpose at the end. So I just wanted to ask. Um, it took them years to make Universal Analytics, um, you know, user friendly, and you know, <laughs> we recently transferred over um, my website because you guys you guys manage it for me, and it's not user friendly. The the new Google Analytics four. Do you think it's going to take them as long to make this as user friendly? Uh, well, to be honest, Google hasn't been, you know, known because <laughs> they're they're good at their user friendliness. I don't know. <laughs> they they have they have a lot of work to do on that regard. Um, you know, it's more about the the tool than the user experience mm-hmm. at this point, and that's why I think they're they're laying they're you know building these or or, or going through this transition. Because they want to, you know, exp- uh, get the um, feedback from the community or you know things like that. It's, uh, I think that's that's the main thing. They 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 need that transition period. Okay, and what will we lose from Universal Analytics going to GA four? Will we lose any of our metrics, or will we just gain stuff? And you know, what what's the main differences? Okay, metrics change entirely. Uh, it's not gonna be the same. Uh, yes, you you could have, uh, for example, uh, things that you were you were used to see in the previous uh, Google uh, Universal Analytics are not gonna be there. For example, one of the main ones would be bounce rate, uh, because they are ch- changing the approach to. Uh, you know, measure traffic and, you know, engagement in your website and app and all that stuff. And instead of going through all of those things um, individually, they're going to go in a way that they call them events. So every single thing that happens on your website, app on and channels <clears throat> as, uh, are going to be measured in things called events. And depending on the, the combination of those events, you will get the other metrics or things like that. Bounce rate was kind of a combination of an event, which was, you know, time that the user was spending on your on your site and then the the, the actions that they were taking in, in it. So they're taking away that and then you you could you could come up with some sort of a uh, binds rate yourself because uh, uh, that that's another thing that uh, Google Analytics four has now is the ability the ability for you to create your own metrics or your own reports, <clears throat> uh, depending on what you want to measure and if you yes. can understand how to use it, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I know I may have probably worried quite a few people saying how unuser friendly it is at the moment, but saying that. To actually change it over, it's actually not that hard, is it? It's it's quite easy step by step. Could you just quickly take us through um, how how you would do it? Well, at the moment is very very easy, like you were saying. Uh, you you would go inside your Universal Analytics, and there's a, a wizard there for you to migrate from one version to the other one. Um, it takes you through the steps. It's two or three steps at the most, to be honest. Uh, and at the end, the only thing that you have to do is copy your uh, new ID into your website or app, and then it automatically should you know, recognize it with the, this new code. Um, Google Google has made it really, really easy for you to migrate uh, from one to the other. And uh, like I was saying before, it's it's good to have both of them at the moment at the moment because you will have both metrics and both results at the same time. So you will you will see if the new version is actually working as expected. You know. So you're a web designer as well, and what would you recommend people who are just building their website or just starting their website or websites that you're building? Would you connect them first to the old analytics or directly onto the new ones? You can't do it now. You can't. Can, you can't actually use Universal Analytics anymore. Oh. So everything everything from I would I don't remember if it was a couple of months ago or three months ago, it's all Google Analytics for. So 
Oh, no so option. they missed out. <laughs> no option. Okay. Yeah. You're using it and that's it. Mm-hmm. So let's say um, you have multiple users on your Google Analytics. Because <clears throat> like most things, you can have analysts, you can have admins. Um, do I have to add on the roles from my old universal analytics to my new Google um, for analytics? No, that's all. Uh, that uh, that Everything goes in the migration. So no, you don't have to worry about that. The migration does, it does that for you. And it's probably a good time to actually double check and make sure the people that you want on there are on there and get a shot of people that don't need to be there anymore as well. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Yeah, good plan. Um, what happens if people, you know, it comes to the 1st of July, 2023, and they haven't changed over? Do they automatically get transferred over? Do they get locked out of Google Analytics? What happens? Uh, no, in, in, there's no automatic transition or anything. You have to do it. I mean, or the owner of the, of the property in Google has to do it. So um, if you don't do it, you lose access. It's like the the Google Analytics stops working. It doesn't track anything or anything. It's just your website still will still be live and all that stuff, but you won't be able to track anything. You won't be, you won't see any any results or any traffic or anything. So you will have to do it. So it's especially vital if you have um, somebody such as IPA Group managing your Google Analytics and your website, it's especially vital that you give plenty of notice to your website developer to make sure it's done. Um, Because, you know, they are managing multiple websites, multiple accounts. They are human like the rest of us. I know nobody seems to think they are, but trust me, they are. (laughs) Um, And, you know, this is your opportunity to double check and make sure whoever's been hosting and managing or or even just your website designer, even if you're doing it yourself, is to make sure that this is done because there is no going back. You cannot fix this after July 2023. So we are going to be talking about this actively over the over the coming weeks and months just to reassure people that it's something you can look after. So is there any top tips that people can take away from um, today's session any action points that you would recommend to our listeners, Aaron? Uh, yes, well, like like we were mentioning before, one of the main ones would be doing it now, so you will have both results. That's that's one of the main ones because um, with you know with every new technology out there, you always get bugs, you always get you know differences between the new and the old and things like that. So having both of them at the same time and measuring your website traffic and all that at the same time will give you the right, you know, idea if you're getting the proper readings and all that stuff. Um, second of all is get used to it. <laughs> I know, <laughs> it's, quite I know different. it's not, it's not uh, something that people like. Ch- change is something that, you know, no one likes. But at the end, it's it's the way to go. Uh, obviously, there are other options out there in terms of analytics. Google is not the only one that does really? this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's tons of them. Uh, we could we could we can talk about some of them in, in another session. Yeah, we'll do another session, session with you, you Aaron. Yeah. yeah, but there are, there are tons of them out there. Some of them are more you know GDPR friendly. Some of them are you know specific. Uh, for a specific niche and things like that so it's it's good uh, knowing that there are other options uh but if you know google is the king of all of these stuff so um well, that's true I would say, they even have their own verb just google it yeah yeah so <laughs> uh, get used to it play around with it um you have a whole year i mean um and obviously if you make a, a mistake there's always way ways to go back and you know change things uh, so well, that would be, or well, those would be my my suggestions at the moment. So you're saying about changing things. Um, you were saying about setting up events and monitoring, you know, the channels that people come through and stuff. Can those be changed later? Are those sort of like what the goals are at, on the present universal? Are those like the goals and where you set a monetary value or are the events completely, you know, I'm sure there are similarities, differences. Can they be changed? 
Well, in general, it's supposed to be almost the same, everything. But in reality, yes, there are big changes. Uh, one of the main ones is the UI. You 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 get a different different look, which <laughs> it's the, one of the main things whenever you go in and start you know playing around with it. So uh, the thing is that uh, even though that supposed to, it's supposed to be a uh, same thing, it's not in real in, in reality. It's not. So you um. Uh, sorry, I, I lost track of what we're, what we're saying. What was your question? <laughs> it wasn't listening to you, Esther. It never does. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's going to edit this part out. So <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> he's got the part at the end of the day. The events, can you change the events to track different things? Yes. Uh, oh, yes, yes. Yeah, that was a, that was a thing. You, yes, you can create events. You can change it. You can edit them. You can, at the end, that was another th main thing uh, about this uh, new technology is that giving you the power to create reports in a different way that you were creating them before. Before, um, so you, yes, definitely, you will be, you will be able to edit or create or modify whatever you need um, in that in this new <clears throat> GA four. The only thing is goals, for example, is still the same. It's still there. Uh, you still will be able to track them and create them, all that stuff. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to ask one question here. Um, if you are struggling to get hold of your website developer or maybe they've gone out of business or you've tried to do it yourself and, and you're like, Oh, this is a disaster. I'm not doing this right at all. Or you're scared. You just don't feel up to doing yeah, it yourself. I'll be honest with you. I did it with you. I, w I did the transfer myself with you, Aaron, because I was nervous I was going to do something wrong. Mm. Um, is it hard to find somebody who can help you do this? Do, do you have to be an ongoing customer? Would IPA Group be able to help? <laughs> no, definitely not. Uh, th that's something that definitely not be able to help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't help at all. Rubbish. No, <laughs> <laughs> no at the end is um, it's just a migration. It's uh, you don't have to be an ongoing client. Uh, obviously, like I was saying, it's not the same. You have to get used to it. So the readings are not going to be the same. The UI is not going to be the same. But at the end, we can help you. To, uh, <clears throat> to, to do that migration so yeah don't worry about that could you just explain what ui means you said it twice now and i haven't actually got oh, it. user interface user interface oh user it's what interface. you see okay it's what you see you know the boxes and buttons and all that stuff is that's the ui okay i would have called it a dashboard but okay <laughs> <laughs> well that that's the common words common word for it <laughs> you know, we're talking to a web designer who will yeah. use lots of different jargon that we don't use in everyday life um so segue into how do people get in touch with you at ipa group to help them with their migration from ua to ga4 uh well my website is ipagroup.co uh, you can find me there. You can send uh, a request over through that contact page uh, there. Uh, obviously, if you uh, want, you can find me LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, all that stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's how you can contact me. Wicked. Well, you didn't do too bad there. You might come back again. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Would he want to, though? That's the question. <laughs> You know, um, just for the audience that's listening, he wanted to see what it was actually like because he 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 edits all the mistakes and all the coughs and and all the yeah you know, the noises. I'll I'll do one for you. That's me using a bottle, and he wondered what what the heck we did here. And I think he's had a small taste of just exactly what we put up our enduring speakers through each time so thank you so much for coming on and braving it um and i think we shall have you back when you can tell us about other analytics um companies I i'll be really honest with you it never was on my orbit that there was others so no definitely i'll be i'll be happy to do it cool great so 
We'll talk to you again next week, guys, about more exciting information and topics related to marketing and how to help your business. More exciting, obviously. (laughs) More, more topics that are exciting. Other exciting. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. So (laughs) until then, bye bye. Honestly, you could have said something nicer than that. (laughs) More exciting things. Like, not, not as in more exciting than GA4 but as in extra topics ah, next topic more exciting things than Aaron <laughs> <laughs> no of course not of course not